In this video, I'm going to show you how to go live on LinkedIn from Microsoft Teams. There's five easy steps for you to complete, and I'm going to provide you with some tricks and tips along the way. Let's get started. Since you will be in Microsoft Teams and LinkedIn, let me summarize the steps for you. The first step is to make sure that you have live streaming enabled in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. I have created a video for with the step-by-step -step instructions since this is only a one-time step only. Next, you will create an event in Microsoft Teams and in LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn, you have some additional settings that you may not be familiar with. Then I will cover the activities needed on day of the event. You need to know the stream URL and the stream key. The final step is hit the go live button. So let's create our events. I have this event already prepared. I've given it a title. Make sure that you have enabled the Teams meeting. In the two line, for me as a best practice, I put the presenters names in there and anyone else who wants to attend and be on live as a panelist, I will add them in the optional line. That's just what I do. Go ahead and set your date and your time. Here is the tip. I like to let my presenters and panelists know that they will be on a live event and it will also be recorded because we may use it for the replay. We may redistribute it to other social media platforms so we can actually promote this event. So keep that in mind. It's something I like to add in my event. And then go ahead and hit the send button. The next thing I like to do is open up this event and copy the join the meeting now. Just in case if you want to share this with people on LinkedIn in a private message, you're inviting them or you want to go ahead and send an email. The next thing I want to do is look at my meeting options. If I wanted to add a co-organizer, I go ahead and enter in that person who can present. Think about um, enabling the green room. Do you want to go ahead and record and transcribe automatically so you don't have to worry about that while um, at the day of the event? You know how sometimes we forget to do that. And here are some additional settings that you can set. I have navigated to my LinkedIn page. And if I was creating this event under my profile, that I would scroll here to the bottom and click on events. Or if you are creating an event for a particular LinkedIn group that you are in, go ahead and click on the group select events and the process will be the same let's click on create an event now you have to upload a cover page for your event and i have one created already the next thing you want to do is select online and choose linkedin live Give your event a name. The time zone should align with the person who's actually coordinating the event. So for an example, I'm in the Eastern time zone. So that's the time zone I chose. Choose my date and time. Use LinkedIn registration form. You can actually use this form if you wanna collect information from whoever plans to attend. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and skip that step, provide my description, which is the title of the event, the guest speaker, and the topic, and any, any additional information you want to provide, including hashtags. That is all optional. Make sure that for the speaker, you include yourself or any other speakers that may be 
on LinkedIn. This is a way to promote your event and hit next. Now we're creating the actual post that will go on our groups page. I just used the same information that was actually in the event. You can change this up if you like. Again, feel free to invite um, anyone that you know on LinkedIn to promote this event, like at mention Dan Ray or any hashtags that you want to include. Make sure that you're checking your date and your time and go ahead and post it. So we just created a page post that is public to everyone on LinkedIn, as well as created a actual event. So sometimes people get that confused and I want you to be aware that you've just created two items. If you need to review the event, Go ahead and click on events from the left navigation. Under the upcoming tab, I see the event. Click on it and here is the event details. Take notice of the share and the manage buttons. Let's go back to Microsoft Teams. On the day of the event, I like to go ahead and join the call and start getting set up. You can't collect the stream URL or the key until about 15 minutes before the event. I'm going to join this call. This meeting was set to be recorded and transcribed automatically. So I'm already recording um, this event. So keep that in mind if you decide to do that early or I'm going to stop recording. The next thing you have to do is add the stream app. Do a search for custom streaming. You cannot add this app ahead of time, only on the day of the event. Notice that it says stream URL and that stream key. You only can collect this from LinkedIn. So I have to wait 15 minutes before the event before I can collect that information. To access the stream, live key and URL, you have to navigate to linkedin.com slash video slash go live slash manage. Don't worry, I will have this link in the description. But once you come here, I see my event is here and prepare to go live. Let's click on that. We have to under stream settings, we want to choose my region, which is um, US Northeast. Get my URL and notice that it provided. And I'm going to copy it and your stream URL, paste it, copy the key and paste it. And I'm going to start my streaming. Let me turn my camera on. Click on start streaming, confirm streaming meeting content, go hit allow. So I'm not live yet folks. So, but I can see on LinkedIn that I am prepping to go live. And now once you hit go live, you are actually live. No one else could see this, but you. So just to prove that, here it is, that event, and notice that it's, you know it's still not live, but this event is waiting for me to go live. I'm gonna go ahead and hit go live. Yes, go live now. Hello everyone, this is Teresa Cyrus. I'm actually setting up and doing, preparing a video on Microsoft Teams going live on LinkedIn. So I'm just sharing the, um, the settings here. If you wanted to record your session, go ahead and hit start recording. You want to 
also record your Microsoft Teams event because from LinkedIn, you will not be able to do so. You can't even download the video from LinkedIn. So it's best to make sure that you are recording while you are in Teams. And I'm going to go ahead and end this event. Don't forget to jump back over to LinkedIn and end the streaming there as well. As you can see, you're going to be jumping between Microsoft Teams and LinkedIn during the preparation stage as well as on event day. Now, I have added the instructions, the written instructions on my website. Visit trackcreationforee.com and go to the vault. I'll have the link in the description as well. Now, go work your magic.